Hello and welcome back to another Top 5 Plays, episode 283. Happy belated Halloween and congratulations to SKT for winning Worlds again. To celebrate both occasions, we're giving away HyperX's new headset out, so stay tuned for more info on that. But without further ado, let's swan dive into some plays. Starting us off at number 5, we have Rave Bus on Janna. With Ezreal and Gangplank in the base, Rave Bus only has two allies by her side, so that's why she flashes in, dodges Tibbers, and splits up the red team with Monsoon, allowing her teammates to pick off Nami and Annie quickly, and eventually Ash and Lee Sin, leading her team to pick up that sweet, sweet victory. Like parting the Red Sea. <laughs> Am I? Okay. At number four, we have master tier player Dokla on Fiora. With only four kills, 28 minutes in the game, Dokla takes it on herself to teleport to the top lane while the enemy team pushes bottom. With Baron buff, she quickly dismantles both the turret and the inhibitor, so much so that the enemy Irelia has to back to deal with Dokla, but she arrives right as the second Nexus turret is about to go down. Dokla anticipates the stun and reposts it, takes down the turret, and challenges Irelia to a grand duel. With Hydra and Trinity, she shreds Irelia down, forcing her to back off and starts focusing on the Nexus. Leeson joins in for round two. Irelia isn't able to fully heal, but they have to stop Dokla. But Dokla hits every vital, helping her regen just enough to take down both foes and finish the game. At number three, we have Silent Killing on Lee Sin. A blind man and a pirate sit between five weak enemies and a turret. One wrong move can lead to death. Gangplank flashes to parlay cannon, but he pays with his life. Silent seeks revenge. Going in on a sonic wave, he safeguards Dragon Rage and Sivir into an Aryan Kazakhs and quickly flashes away. You can see Morgana try to get in range of her ult, but Silent is one step ahead, but it doesn't end there. He dodges the incoming binding, smites a minion, allowing the sonic wave to connect with Morgana. He picks up the triple, and Sivir gives him a run for his money. Either she dodges his sonic wave, or he misses either way he gets the quadra at number two we have xerxes on lissandra a battle bot lane breaks out xerxes teleports in sends out her glacial path transfers to it uses ring of frost into an eye shard getting some damage in before using zonias to negate two ultimates she juts forward using proto belt and uses frozen tomb on herself dealing an obscene amount of aoe damage xerxes then flashes ring catches ezreal and fizz which leads into the deletion of ezreal seraph's embrace keeps rise alive but ring grabs xerxes a close kill her job is done lee takes the reins and catches his fish for the ace and eventually the win I'm Tai T Boba, sounds delicious, and is coming in at number one on Alistar. The enemy Leeson gets in front of Boba, in which Boba proceeds to laugh at the blind boxer. The enemy Vayne positions herself like Samsung Galaxy's ADC in game five and gets caught. Righteous Glory is activated, and Boba gets off a nasty five man pulverize. A huge AoE slow triggers from Righteous Glory, and the blue team are sitting ducks. Even though the battle started off as a 3v5, the red team was able to crush that team fight with the bravery of a single cow. Now our bonus play could possibly be the play of this episode. This play was sent in by Macba, who's on Ari, but keep an eye on one of her buddies. Now I know what you're thinking. Mix, this is Twisted Tree Line. What gives? This is not true, Lego Legos. Well, this map is key in this situation because of that. That beautiful Emperor's Divide sending three tanks onto a one-way trip to Laser Town. Now, Halloween has passed, and you either spend all your money on Overwatch trying to get that Halloween Mercy skin, you put 50 bones on Samsung Galaxy, or you're still upset for wasting money on No Man's Sky. Because I know I am. But do not worry, HyperX has just released a new headset called the Cloud Stinger, and it's only 50 bucks. These are HyperX's cheapest headsets to date, and they have pretty much the same specs as any other headset in the Cloud series. It's a great deal. So make sure to check out the link under this video if you want to check out a pair for yourself. And let's be real, headphones around $50 usually look like the pair your homie gives you to borrow when you go to his house, or when he gives you his Mad Cats controller. Don't be that guy. But if you want a free headset, all you have to do is like this video and comment underneath the champion you really want to see get that SKT skin, and we'll pick and announce the winner. That's going to do it for this episode. From me and the Potato Monster crew, we hope you had a happy Halloween, and we'll see you next time.